Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Punjoy, the Batman one Night scale action figure. Now, Punjoy is not really a brand I collect, but ever since I had my hands on that Batman vs. Superman Batfleck that they released, that figure is amazing, so I am thought that Punjoy is really, really up their A-game when it comes to their action figure. And that's why I am in this situation. I immediately pre-ordered the Batman figure when I saw the promo pictures. And thinking maybe this will also be replacing my McFarlane Pattinson Batman figure. Because that's what happened with my Bat McFarlane Batfleck. Panjoy completely replaced it. One good thing about Panjoy is that they are in scale with McFarlane figures. So, does this figure represent some an, an, uh, represent an upgrade to this figure? Let's dive deep into the Panjoy, the Batman figure, and see if this is a hit or a miss. Now, looking at them side to side, don't get me wrong, I love this McFarlane figure, but I always thought that it is too bulky. So proportion-wise and build-wise, I think Fanjoy got it better because Pattinson's Batman is on the slim side. Now, again, as I said, well, I like my Batman bulky, but if we're talking about accuracy, movie accuracy, I think proportion-wise, Fanjoy is better. I think as far as the detail of the Pattinson Batman costume, they actually nailed it. Now, my only issue on this one is that I believe that the this one, well, first of all, that one, that's my first issue. This falls up pretty easily. Just look at that. I just pointed at it and it wanted to fall up. I think the head sculpt, this especially this flesh portion, is too clean. Oh. Okay. That happened. Okay, since that part already wants to go off, uh, let me just show you one of the accessories of this figure. So, yes, this alternate. Uh, mouth which is on the greedy side okay let's start with the head my problem with this head is that this the connection this one is very loose I mean you've seen it I was just pointing at it and it fell off okay maybe it will not fall off like that but believe me the friction between on the connection of this one and this one is very loose Second, when I was trying the articulation of the head, I tried that and it popped up. The, I, I don't know about their choice of the head scalp here, but basically the neck is fixed and then there's just that joint. So head articulation is pretty limited. And when you try to move it, Okay, there we go again. It pops up. Not only the mouthpiece, this part also pops up. I don't know why they started using this type of plastic because I think this type of plastic is so smooth and that's why it doesn't have that much friction. And that's the reason why it pops up so easily. And don't worry, guys, that's not even the worst thing that I really hate about this figure. Right out of the box, this is very loose. I mean, just look at that. Ugh. What on earth is that? That's really a bad QZ. Let me try to pose it. Oops, of course it will pop up. And again, the main reason is because they started using this clear plastic, which I believe is too smooth. 
okay you can i can fix that but do you really want to buy figures wherein from out of the box you already need to fix it? This is too loose. I'll be honest, this is the one that really pissed me off about this figure. The joint that they decided to use on this is then again too loose. It just pops up. And yeah, that that's the only they decided to use this kind of joint for the ankle, which I don't think is really good for ankle articulation. Anyway, guys, um, I think you're starting to get my point. This figure is basically the same experience, giving me the same experience on the early days of Mafex. It just keeps falling off. The joints are very loose. And then I must admit that the one of the reason why I bought this is that I was thinking that their Pattinson and Mess Head sculpt would be pretty good, like the Batfleck. But I don't know. I, I'm having the same issue here as the as their early releases. Something's kinda off with this head sculpt. I'm not sure if it's the paint or my initial thing is I think his chin is too thin. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be using these head sculpts. They just look too goopy. When I see this figure, I don't think Batman. Now, this chest shield is replaceable. You can basically replace it in order to imitate that thing he did in the movie where the, the bat symbol became the batarang. And... Let's try that. Uh, yeah, that was so easy because again, the connection is too loose. There, so you can do that. Look at that leg. Man, that annoys me. He also has this... Um, gun which you can put there to be fair that looks pretty cool he has four alternate hands and of course he also has this player because of that specific scene where you use a player Then there is also this option, which you can put on his gauntlet, again, because of that specific scene. If you will see, there is a, there's a knob there where you can connect these two. Um, I'm not going to do that anymore because I'm telling you now. It is pretty loose. It's not even worth my time. Now, to answer the question, will I be replacing my McPerlin Batman Pattinson with this Ponjoy, the Batman figure? Uh, the, I think the clear answer, you already know, it's nope. This will go back to the box and join my other Mafex figures that I bought during the early years because they had the same issue. This figure just falls apart. It's like it's like that uh, BBS Batfleck figure was done by a completely different company. I'm not sure. I never bought the, their other figures because, as I said, I had the same issue with them. Wherein their the head sculpt of their earlier releases is just so goopy, which I think these are too. I think the problem is either on the paint or the chin. So, I I really didn't enjoy playing with this figure because of that fact that it keeps falling apart. And then, yeah, if you 
want my di my direct opinion is this worth buying no i think as i said that batman versus superman bat flick that they had i don't know maybe they just got lucky with this one or maybe they had a different designer that created that one because this this figure is a complete headache and i'm not recommending it 